Did you play stickball as a kid? Yep. Yeah. Tell, tell me about stickball. Stick stick ball. Ball. Yeah, well, tell me about stickball. How did how did that oh, work? Oh, stickball. Well, stickball was. You had to be pretty good to play stickball. You know, with the group of kids in our area. I mean, you, you know, when we were young, we weren't quite up to it. Uh, the older kids would be the ones that would play stickball, and some of them were good. They could swing that broomstick, you know, that was what you used as a bat. And uh, they had the, we played with a Spalding, which was a very, very uh, good uh, uh, rubber ball that uh, had a lot of bounce through it. What was interesting about playing stickball was that many times they'd hit the ball and would go up on a roof. So in order to not lose that many uh, Spaldings, they would have, they plant a couple of young kids up on a roof. And so whenever anybody would knock a ball on the roof, he'd be running around trying to locate where he'd hit it and throw it back down again. So that was, that was routine. That was uh, part of the game. And what's stoop ball? I hadn't heard that term. Stoop ball, you played, uh, the ball was hit on the stoop, on the steps. And it would, you know, you'd bounce, you'd hit, you'd, throw it against the steps and it would bounce out and there were a couple of uh, fielders out there in the middle of the street that would feel the ball wherever it was hit they'd have to grab it or you know if it was a fly or and that was very popular uh, then it was handball too you know where you uh, hit slap at the ball and run the bases and all of this was done on the street and uh, and you'd have to dodge cars, you know, when you were doing all of this, because that was, and sometimes you would know somebody driving through and you'd jump on a fender and drive up with them, and then you'd have to learn how to jump off so that you were running alongside the car. If you didn't, you would tumble, <laughs> and we learned, how, you know, how to deal with that, but at any rate, that was, that was the, uh, the way we were brought up. If you could throw uh, from one manhole cover to another, that was about 30 yards, you know, uh, you were a pretty good passer. So, you know, if you could do that, then you would become the passer on the team. Because not many of the guys could do that, achieve that. So, passing from one cover to another was, uh, you know, that made you a, uh, you know, a pro. And, uh, and that was a game that, you know, like, the, the, sometimes there would be two or three kids on one team, and sometimes there would be as many as five or six. And that could become kind of hairy playing uh, in the middle of the street, you know. And the games were always interrupted by cars. You know, a railway truck would come up and it would be on your base if you were playing sick ball, you know, and you'd, uh, you'd have to allow for that. My father would take us, uh, you know, he would, uh, for Sunday afternoon, he would take us on the L trains and we go down to South Ferry and sometimes you get off there and you, if he felt like it and if he could, take you on the ferry to Staten Island and you would pass the Statue of Liberty on the trip over, so uh, that was a, wow, that was a big event in our life, you know, to do that. But riding the L trains was also a lot of fun. Uh, we, I used to particularly love to get in the front car and stand by the door, and so looking out that door, you, all you'd see is track, and the, and the train would be, you know, sailing down that track, and you'd be God, you'd be thrilled to death just uh, being there to, to see that. Pulling into a station with people looking at you, and uh, that was great. And, and that was the city. That was the way we were raised.